Hi, this is David Keenan with Value Charts, and this is the free video for Tuesday, August 25th, 2015. So here we are, the day after uh, all the craziness on Monday. Um, I don't know what they call that, the flash crash Monday or, or whatever they're calling it. Uh, that very deep move at the beginning of the day and the subsequent strong rebounded. Uh, I'm looking at the SPY and I'm looking at today's bar, which is this little bar off to the right. You can see we're still below the previous day's high and the previous day's low is way up here, even above where we closed. So right now the SPY is up about uh, say 2.4 percent um, it is roughly one o'clock in the afternoon eastern time about three hours before market close so at this point the potential move uh, is still a little ambiguous and what i'm actually looking for is a potential break higher to retest the eight day moving average and potentially coming up all the way to 205. Now, when you translate this to the SPX, that's 2050, but also I'm looking at uh, 204, which corresponds to 2040. So this range right here, 2040 comes from this swing low down here, by the way. So this range right here, is a very good target for a retracement trade and we call this a last kiss trade comes up into this zone which is previously support based on this low and this low that when we broke through now creates an area of resistance that if we uh, hit it and then we start to slow down or it has it start to turn around then we're looking for a potential break and run lower if we break through the zone and continue higher, that would put us in a position to potentially be more bullish. But uh, again, that is the SPY, the SPX. That's what we're looking uh, to trade. Again, a break above today's high. If the market closed just like this, we would be looking for a break above 195.45 or 190, basically 1955 and a half to the upside. That's what would we we be looking for? So again, that is a very potentially uh, potentially a very strong move, um, but that could take a number of days to to actually uh, come about. Uh, but generally, on the on the longer term, weekly and monthly, uh, this did a lot of uh, uh, technical damage to the charts, and it's really hard to see much of a very uh, much of a bullish move from here going into the end of the year. I think the best you're going to hope for is coming into the retracement, uh, hitting the uh, last kiss trading zone, and then rolling over. Okay, hope it helps. Thank you. I'll see you in the trading room.